Hi, I'm Steve Jackson from Jackson's Rare Guitars in Sydney, Australia. Welcome to JRG TV. Today we're going to feature a short video from Mark Lazot, known as recording artist Diesel. What a wonderful guy, fabulous guitar player, singer and marvellous songwriter. And is the D for Diesel or the D for Duesenberg? You decide. Hi, my name is Diesel. Um, this is the Duesenberg Star Player in an awesome gold top finish. Um, I guess Duesenberg attracted me because, um, well, for a few reasons. There are a very few guitars that I kind of can pick up and they feel um, that, that they're sort of relative to what I do to start with. But um, even before I sort of got one of these in my hands, I, I had a feeling that they kind of had the things that I liked. Um, the P90 style pickup here. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of humbuckers, I have to say, unless they're like extraordinary and really open sounding. And the first thing I noticed about the humbuckers um, in the Duesenberg guitars is that they, that they do sound like a humbucker should, the ones that I like anyway. Um, so with a great combination of, of that um, and this, it's sort of like the best of the two things that I like, a single coil and a humbucker. And um, they've got really nice... <laughs> You get the real nice kind of milk bottles clinking together, chiminess, um, and then you sort of get 
straight kind of out. At the back, it sort of does what a humbucker should at, on the bridge position. So, um, and the neck, of course, is always... You get that kind of straighty sort of, um, just, yeah, nice, clean, bell-like, um, not muddy and usable, basically, which a neck pickup should be, which is why we all love strats so much, and tellies for that matter. Um, so, yeah, you've got kind of a lot of different sounds in, in, in a guitar that sort of, I guess, is classic in its shape, um, the Les Paul shape that we all kind of know very well, the single cut away, that is. But um, with, the, with this hollowness on, on hollow chambers, which I guess I started falling for hollow guitars about 10, 15 years ago when um, Piers Crocker made me a, a Gretsch um, replica, beautiful thing it was, and it sort of opened me up to, to bodies that had holes in them, to put a cut a long story short. So um, I've been, yeah, in love with them ever since, and this is a great hybrid of, of um, sustain and um, excitement at the same time, as we all know when you plug a hollow body in, it does feed back more. Um, this is uh, kind of a, a nice controlled amount of feedback. It doesn't sort of squeak and squawk and do things that you don't want it to do. So um, it's, there's not much to really fault on this guitar. If, uh, the, um, the design, the workmanship, the, the way it's been put together is just astounding. Um, that's the first thing you notice when you pick it up. It's, it's just um, flawless and um, it's, it's, it's rare these days, I guess, to, to find so much attention to detail. Um, and um, they stay in tune, which is <laughs> gets a big tick in my books. So um, yeah, the Duesenberg star player, gold top.